we're working. Yeah, we're just getting out of, um, where are we getting out of? Melbourne. Well, we're starting to. We've been in, oh, actually, we've got to do the lefty. Hang on, we've got to do the block. Got to do the block, and it's going to rain, it's believe it or not. It's going to hit the headlights and everything, because well, we've been in, uh, I'll stick some pictures in, too, of my son, Michael, and his graduation, which was huge. It was at the... Um, the, God, what was it? Melbourne Convention Centre. Yeah. Oh. It's South Bank, right on the Yarra River. You can Google that. And um, so it's now uh, 7 o'clock roughly. And we're, got, we're leaving Melbourne. This is going to be fun because we haven't been down here for years. <laughs> and getting out of town is going to be a struggle. We'll make it. We'll make it, but it's been good, and uh, it's been a long road for Michael, and he's finally graduated, and I, we're just so thrilled for him. And I think this is the road, yes. And uh, so we're uh, just trying to find our way out of the metropolis, and we'll get out, and we'll get back on the freeway, and get back up to Chilton in the country. I, I tell you what. There is so much energy when you come to the city. Uh, There's so many people that are all moving and doing. And I forgot what it was like because we spent, uh, what, how many years here? Quite a oh, few years um, here. And uh, going back to the country, it's very, very slow uh, compared to what the city is like. And can I, am I, I going to block traffic here? No, I'm not. It's excellent. Straight across. Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> no, not quite. But, uh, yeah, so we've had um, a wonderful day. Hot and sticky. It was, what, 36 degrees Celsius. And Melbourne's near the water, as you know. It's the city by the bay. And it's dank. Oh. And we got some, uh, some KFC, Kentucky Fried. And that was danked. <laughs> it was danked. And we had... A BLT twister and uh, would I have a chicken twister? And it was just um, okay. It was, just it was yeah, st rotten. stop the worm from biting, and that's about it. And we're looking for St George's Road here. I think we go over this one, don't we? We do. Okay. Um, oh, this is St George's Road. What am I talking about? We're looking for Bell Street. Yeah. T intersection up here. Can't miss it. Uh, it's a T intersection, so if I, you've got to either go left or right, and we, we go left. And we go up to Pretty sure it is, uh, the prison, anyway. which is the Her Majesty's accommodation at um, uh, Coburg. And it, it's now just a, it's apartments now. I used to call it the, the Bluestone College. Anyway, we're getting down to Melbourne. The sun is going down. Here it is. There's a big storm coming in. There's a whole heap of science. It's not uh, so I'm going to concentrate now and we'll come back to you when we get out on the freeway because this is going to be a bit scary and YouTube may cut us off because of <laughs> me being x-rated and swearing. So we'll catch you a little later. It's actually the next day now, and uh, that was, as a long-suffering Mrs. Max said, a wild ride home. Uh, didn't get a chance to do a lot of video videoing because everything was knocked out, and it was dark. Um, we got out of Melbourne just as that storm hit, and... Uh, it was really, really heavy, and they had the windscreen wipers flat out and still couldn't see, and everybody was slowing down. Melbourne got 20 millimetres of rain in 20 minutes, and in that 20 minutes I was driving from where I finished the video um, at Bell Street, moving out to um, Campbellfield. And in those 20 minutes right there, that's where the storm hit. And the rain came down 20 millimetres in 20 minutes, and oh, gee, did it come down? 
Uh, then we get out, got out onto the freeway and we thought, well, we'll stop for fuel. And the first um, place we came to was uh, uh, Violet Town, I think. Uh, Wallen. Wallen, sorry, Wallen. And that was offline, that had been hit and that was in darkness. I thought, oh, we can't do anything there. So we moved on and we went up the freeway. There's a couple of Caltechs before Seymour. They weren't operating as far as we could see. Uh, then we thought we'd bypass Seymour and uh, get to um, Avenal, I think it was, or is the Avenal before Seymour? I'm not sure now. Anyway, Avenal wasn't working. So anyway, Ed, we we got past Seymour, we got to Uroa, Uroa's dead, nothing. That is um, right there, two hours travel on the freeway and nothing. That's how big the storm was. S hang on, hang on. And then we got, because Mrs. Max jumping in, don't forget what? Northwind. Yeah, yeah, okay, South Wing. Yeah, I'm, I'm, we're coming to that. And we, we got up to to um, Euroa, which is two hours travel from Melbourne, roughly. Is it two hours? Yep. Uh, in that weather anyway, probably an hour and a half out of town, nothing. So the storm was that big. Uh, we got to Benalla and there was nothing at Benalla. Oh, there was a big truck roll over here. Yeah, the... Um, it looked like a B double had been blown over, not just got off the road. It was virtually still on the road and it had been blown over. Uh, got to Benalla, nothing, no lights. Benalla, right? We thought Wangaratta is probably on a different circuit. We'll be fine. Got to um, Elder um, uh, Glen Rowan, nothing. This is looking serious. We got to. The South Wangaratta BPs, and they were offline. Um, didn't bother going into Wangaratta. It was, would have been out anyway. We finally got home, and uh, Chilton was okay, believe it or not. When I say okay, relatively speaking, it had lights, but there'd been trees down. Mrs. Max' SES page had been going off all day because we left them home because we were going to Melbourne for, for Michael's graduation. And uh, the, the page is telling a, a whale of a story of trees down and roofs off and all kinds of garbage that's been happening. We just missed the whole thing. Uh, we got home at about 11 o'clock at night, last night, and uh, it rained pretty well through the night. Yeah. But it wasn't heavy. But the rain that was we left Melbourne that just hit us after that video uh, segment in Melbourne, uh, that was the heaviest rain I have ever experienced in my life. We're going to Wangaratta today. We'll do more videos, but I just thought I'd uh, update you on what's been going on. I'll see if I can put some... I'll get some pictures if I can. And, uh, well, you can Google Wang, um, Melbourne's weather. You'll see what, what I'm talking about. It was a, a rough ride home.